That day is today. Arsenal is in match day five. And Ateta has something to say about the match day five game against RC Lones that's going to be played at the Emirates tonight. Good morning, everyone watching in through. This is the Rokani Media Football, and this is the Arsenal News Show. Have we done an Arsenal News Show today? I think we've only done one video yesterday. And today, we're obviously here to flock all flood your screen with some Arsenal news. So just sit down, relax, whether you're couch, holding your tablet, smart TV, smartphone, and so on and so forth. And let's see how everything is going to pan out here onto you, the Rokani Media Football. Rokan David is my name. You can call me Aradis. Smash the like button, comment, and share. And if you're already watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a day. And remember, we've gone ahead to set a target of hitting 20,000 subscribers before the end of this month. And you're left with like 1,800 subscribers, of which I know this is really going to be our milestone that we're going to hit because according to the many videos you're uploading and how people are really reacting to them, we are really having a lot to obviously offer to them. Now, good morning. We thank God for the gift of life. And the Muslim is Barak Laufik. It's a Wednesday. Remember yesterday, games have been played into the Champions League that I've seen Man City beat. RB Leipzig coming in from behind, 3-2. Uh, Newcastle considered a penalty in the dying minutes. It ended 1-1. Borussia Dortmund beat AC Milan by three goals to one. Barcelona came from behind to beat FC Porto by two goals to one. Yao Cancelo with a goal and an assist to Yao Felix, you know. And that's what we had today and very many other games. But today, we come here to discuss the game that's going to take place in Group B, Arsenal versus RC Lons. And we are going to also talk about the final preparations as Mikel Ateta talks Talks about Bokayo Saka and very many others. I think you're really charged like me, and let's get going because we can't bear ourselves from giving you the latest news and information as far as all of this is really concerned. Now, I saw <clears throat> Ateta being asked on possibly winning the group with a game to spare. He said, Yeah, we want to win the game, that's for sure. We want to be top. We want to be top of the group, and the opportunity is there for us today against a team that causes problems and that we've already experienced them. We've already experienced against them, so we have the right motivation to do that today. <laughs> that is it coming in from Mikel Ateta. When you talk about topping the group, what does it mean? Arsenal is having nine points out of the possible 12. So they've only gone ahead to win three and lost one. So, if they win the game tomorrow, sorry, today, Arsenal is going to be on top of the table. And if I told you top the table, then you you have a very huge chance to obviously gate, to obviously gate, um, to obviously gate teams that are not all that strong. For example, if Arsenal is given RB Leipzig, they'll obviously jubilate. If Arsenal is given Borussia Dortmund, they'll jubilate. If Arsenal is given a team like um, if Arsenal is given a team like um, Inter Milan, I think they can jubilate. But if Arsenal is given Bayern Munich, it will be a hard one, you know, because Bayern Munich is stopping its group, um, Real Madrid is stopping its group, Barcelona is stopping its group. Um, which other side? Which other side is stopping its group? Because all you need is to see to it that you don't get teams like Bayern. Um, Real Madrid, you know, Barcelona, such teams, you know, because it's always better to face them on the round of on the round of eight, you know, but the round of 16, you would like to be there. And that's the most important bit of Arsenal topping the group. Then Ateta was asked on whether he's enjoying the Champions League at Arsenal. And his reply was as follows. He said, <coughs> sorry about that. I'm enjoying it. It's a great feeling. It makes you proud. It makes me feel that this is the level the club should be at and we've been competing really well. So let's continue to do so. For sure, we have to prove ourselves. We have to come back to Europe being the club we want to be and have the presidency and those results that tell you that we are back in a strong way. We haven't done that yet. That has to be done. So, him saying that, they haven't done it yet 
and they have to see it getting done means that he wants to obviously make a huge statement this season. If it means Arsenal playing the Champions League final and winning the trophy, Ateta won't say no to it. And when you look at his what I told you, that Arsenal is one of the teams that are going to compete for the Champions League this season because of their squad. And them winning the game today will confirm that they are through to the round of 16. Now, after them going through to the round of 16, do you know what's going to happen? They are going to reinforce the general transfer window because they know that the more games you win, the more money you make. That's why you said to it that Man City went ahead to collect close to 120 million pounds from the Champions League. You know, they collected that much from the Champions League. And if Arsenal can get that amount of money, like if at all they win, because for them, they can even collect more because of the numbers they really have. You know, they can really make more money from the stadium, the sell merchandise, and so on and so forth. So, Ateta wants Arsenal to be there. And trust me, if Arsenal faces Real Madrid, Arsenal can give Real Madrid a game. You know, they can give Man City a game. They've shown us they can give uh, Barcelona a game because they cannot face Man City, you know, because it's in England. They come from the same country and there is no way teams from the same country can come up and obviously face one another before the round of 16 obviously gets done. Now, let's go to... Let's go to... Let's go to Wateta. Let's go to the players and how they fared today during the training session at London Conley. Sorry, yesterday as they prepared for this encounter. That is Mikel Ateta. All smiles. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Let's start it from where it had to start. Sorry about it, guys. <clears throat> I want to obviously come from its start. All right. Leandro Trossard in the gym and obviously trying to obviously warm up for the grass work. Um, uh, David Raya, who missed out on the Guam of Brentford and is here to obviously go ahead and obviously put in a shift. And he knows that he's going to be the goalkeeper as Arsenal takes on Arcelons today. Then, um, then this is uh, Declan Rice also doing some gym work. And Zinchenko trying to obviously stretch up and really get ready. This is El Nini, a man of the moment, who I believe is not going to see his contract extended at Arsenal. Then this is uh, Kai Havertz, the man who saved Arsenal from really losing two points as they played against Brentford. Then this is Gabriel Jesus, very, very talented man, and he's back and back to field fitness. And in the due course of the weekend, he played close to 70 minutes and Ateta took him off and brought on Edin Ketia. Then the players of Arsenal walking to the grass. Martin Odegaard, Declan Rice, Nketiah, uh, Rhys Nelson. I see Nwaneri in the background. Um, then Jakub Kivio, Odegaard, Kai Havertz, and... Gabriel Magales getting charged for the training as they were really responding to the runs around the cons. That is Odegaard, Declan Rice, Saliba, and Tommy Yasu. This is William Saliba, obviously doing the dribble, you know, and really juggling the ball, showing off his skills that he has got as a player. William Saliba issuing instructions at the London Conley as far as the training session was really concerned. And these were Arsenal players obviously taking part into the match plan of Mikel Ateta. As you see, this is how they plan for the game. You know, he tells them, you're going to run like this, you're going to be doing this. And they have to obviously orchestrate it on the training ground before it's obviously ex exhibited onto the field of play today. El Nini looks like a happy guy and he was clapping his hands, dressed in gloves because of the autumn. And I think they're obviously soon entering winter. Saka. You know, he's a guy that always, wear that, always wears that smile. And you know that it's one of the things that you, you will expect from Bokayo Saka. His smile is obviously on every time. Gabriel Martinelli, a player that Bokayo Saka has come out and really alleged that they are double marked and they are fouled a lot. So they need to find a solution to that because they really went ahead to really run riot at teams last season. And this season, teams are really very serious onto them. 
then Saka getting hold of the ball and having to look at something that we never knew. Jesus all smiles during the training session of Arsenal. Then Tomiyasu also smiling at what was happening. Then the gaffer himself, Mikel Ateta, wearing that smile that everyone really, really, really loved. And Odegaard plus Mikel Ateta having a chat together during the training session. Declan Rice trying to dribble past one of the academy players of Arsenal during the training session. Odegaard also trying to go past the same player and he's back from injury and anticipate him to, to really start. Jesus going for a shot at goal and it will look like a like a heavy one at goal. Then Declan Rice also going in for cutting effort at the goal as they obviously trained at the London Conley. Martin Odegaard looking on the ball and obviously trying to see to it that he obviously gets it where it deserves to be and keeping attention to it. That he is the goalkeeper of Arsenal trying to hold that ball and show it us. Saka walking and trying to relax a little bit at the London Conley. Then this is David Raya trying to obviously do what we call a good ball distribution as he obviously went in for the ball start. Then we are having a this is Gabriel Magales trying to obviously win a header as Jorginho was watching on and Tommy Yasu uh, Jesus taking on his fellow Brazilian. It shows you that they are playing for different sides because Gabriel Jesus was dressed in a different bib. The same applies to Gabriel Magales all in green in that match or training match for the Champions League. Gabriel Jesus taking on Martinelli and Kai, taking on Zinchenko and Kai Havertz at once and you know what he does when he has the ball he really brings it to you and make you feel like your presidency doesn't make sense and then gabriel jesus losing the battle to gabriel magales and Jorginho, so he lost that battle it was like the back five i think they're playing like the back five you know versing the forwards you know it's also another drill odegaard dribbling and obviously Taking it on. Uh, who is this, guys? I forgot. Hey, this is Benjamin White. Benjamin White shirt number four. Back in training session of Arsenal. Then Declan Rice looking on as magic is being unleashed at the stadium. Sorry, at the training ground of London Conley. So that is it that happened at the London Conley. Hope you're going to hit to see everything. And before we obviously call it quits, let's really bring you what Ateta had to say about Bukayo Saka ahead of this game they're going to play today. Remember, Saka was responsible for the assist that Gabriel Jesus went ahead to score down in loans and Ateta was asked on Bukayo Saka being targeted as he obviously went ahead and alarmed to the people, all sent his cry out to the people as he was obviously forward intentionally in very many games. Then Ateta had the following to say, well, he's targeted because he's one of our most dangerous players and the team knows that. Sorry, and teams know that. And they try to stop our strength, that's for sure. What he's done in those five years since his debut is remarkable at, this, at his age. When you look at his stats and how consistent he's been, it's very rare to see that at his age, especially in those positions at top clubs. It's a big compliment for him. So, Ateta is going to have to take a positive out of it. And he's telling the people that um, obviously teams have to target him because he's the most dangerous player that they have but is he really i doubt i doubt i doubt but um he's one of the most dangerous players that arsenal really have i believe odegaard jesus you know declan rice you know it's really shifting because if i show you the numbers of cross at this season and the minutes is going to hate to play trust me his numbers show that he's the most dangerous player at the club of arsenal so the manager loves Bokayo Saka and I think he has to obviously love him because he's the one who obviously changed him from playing as a left back and played him as a right winger. And kudos to Mikel Ateta on what he did. So guys, your thoughts on to Arsenal versus RC Lons final preparations are welcome in the comment section below. What do you make about Mikel Ateta's talk and say about the side of Arsenal? Good morning. May the living to God bless you abundantly. Rokan David is my name. The Muslim is Barak Laufikum. We out.